guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be doing the It's Finally Fall book tag. I wasn't tagged by anybody to do this, but I thought it would be super fun. So let's get started. Question one. In the fall, the air is crisp and clear. Name a book with a vivid setting. So the book I chose for that is Ripper by Stefan Petrucha. Um, most of this book takes place in this secret underground private investigator agency, and it's like this uh place with all these futuristic inventions and this crazy elevator and this cool subway and there's just like a lot of cool uh things in this place and it's like this big cathedral uh what i picture it anyway and so i thought that was a pretty vivid um setting question two nature is beautiful but also dying name a book that is beautifully written but also deals with a heavy topic like loss or grief so I chose The Escape by Hannah Jane. I haven't read this book in a while. I do know I loved it so much that I read it in one sitting. It's, it's pretty small. But this book follows this kid who basically he wakes up in the middle of the woods covered in blood and hurt really bad and he kind of stumbles into the searching party. They're looking for him and his best friend and they end up finding his best friend's body. He was murdered by somebody. And so it follows this kid trying to figure out why his friend was murdered and why he was still alive and if they're coming after him and so i thought it was uh, a heavy topic question three fall is back to school season name a non-fiction book that taught you something new so um i chose don't sweat the small stuff for teens by richard carlson phd i don't know if that matters but this book i read it a few years ago and i have um high anxiety and stress and this book really helped me to, like, uh, learn to let certain things go. Like, I highlighted a whole bunch of stuff in it, and it really, really helped me out. And so, I like this book a lot. I probably have to reread it just to refresh my memory, but there you go. Question four. In order to keep warm, it's good to spend time with the people we love. Name a fictional family, household, or friend group that you would like to be a part of. So for this, I chose the Electro Clan from the Michael, Ve the Michael Vey series by Richard Paul Evans. I just reread this book, and I'm currently reading the second book, and I think this is great. I was debating between this and Camp Half-Blood, but I feel like at Camp Half-Blood, there are some people who aren't inviting. Like, they don't actually want you to be there. And in the Electro Clan, everyone who's there is very close, and they are they need each other and they all take care of each other and I feel like that would be a really good friend relationship and so I picked that. Question five. The colorful leaves are piling up on the ground. Show us a pile of fall colored spines. Okay so here is my pile of fall colored spines. They're really pretty. My favorite one is the Illuminae one. Yeah there you go. Fall colored spines. Question six. Fall is the perfect time for some storytelling by the fireside. Name a book where someone is telling a story. So I didn't really know exactly what this one meant, but I picked Lockdown Escape from Verbenness by Alexander Gorn Smith because um, it's one of those books where it kind of starts in the middle of the story and he's like, wait a second, let me start at the beginning. I'll tell you how I got here. And so he's kind of telling you the story up to Kind of the middle of the book where it's at so i kind of considered that him telling a story question seven the nights the nights are getting darker share a dark creepy read so for this i picked intensity by dean koontz i'm not finished with this i'm currently about halfway through um i'm buddy reading it with my dad and it's super creepy this girl is in college and her and her friend go to visit her friend's family and while she's staying there, this guy breaks into the house and murders all of the people and kidnaps her friend. And so she, like, stows away in his motorhome to try and rescue her. And it's super creepy. This sociopath or psychopath, whichever one he is, and he's he just likes to kill people. And so that one's pretty creepy. Question eight. The days are getting colder. Name a short, heartwarming read that could warm up somebody's cold and rainy day. So for this, I chose Hoot by Carl Hyacin. I read this book a long time ago. It's pretty short. It's less than 300 pages, 
but it, it's just a cute little read. Um, it's about this kid who moves to Florida. I think he might be from California. Um, and he kind of is a cowboy and he moves there and he meets these two friends and they're trying to stop this corporation from building a, like a pancake factory or pancake, uh, restaurant on this land that has these endangered burrow owls. And so it's them trying to protect these cute little owls. And I thought it was pretty heartwarming. Question nine, fall returns every year. Name an old favorite that you'd like to return to soon. So for this, I chose The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. I know this is kind of an unpopular series by him, but I really loved the series. I know a lot of people didn't like it as much as the Percy Jackson series. I probably don't either, but it's really close for me when um, from the first time I read it. I don't know if I'll reread it and not like the series, but I would really like to reread the series. And question 10, fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. Share your favorite cozy reading accessories. So I don't really have very many cozy reading accessories, but I do have this super soft blanket. It's my favorite blanket and it's so soft and lovely. And so if I'm reading during the day, like if it's at night and I'm in my bed, I'll use my regular blanket. But if I read during the day and I'm like out on the couch or something and it's kind of cold, I will curl up in this little blankie because it's so warm. And let's see, also I guess I wear this sweatshirt a lot. It's my favorite sweatshirt. It's got the Captain America shield on it and I, wear this a lot and so I'll also throw that on if I'm cold. So that is it for the It's Finally Fall book tag. I guess I tag anybody who wants to do this video since I don't know very many people yet. But I thought this was great. It was super fun. I love book tags. They're great. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!